Today we're going to talk about piecewise graphs. And what you will see is we have f of x is equal to and there's two different parts. Okay, one of them, the x minus 2, occurs whenever x is greater than 2. The 2x occurs whenever x is less than or equal to 2. So everything is covered. All numbers are covered. The domain is covered. And then what we do is we take two different parts, and you'll see we have two different lines, or rays. I was going to say lines, but two rays. And what we need to do, and just so you know, I have all the directions down here at the bottom, but I'm, just, I'm not going to use them. I'm just going to talk about these right here. But um, what we do is, or what I like to do, is I will take this part right here that has the equal to, and I will plug in this number 2. So I go 2 times 2, and I get 4. So my ordered pair is going to be the 2 that I put in and the 4 that I got out, so 2, 4. And I'll put a solid dot there. That's because it includes it because of the equal to sign under the less than. Now, then you know as it goes to the left, because it's less than, it's going to have a slope of 2. Now, if you don't like doing that, now slope of 2 means you're going to go, now slope of 2 normally go up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1, but since we're going this way, we do the reverse of that, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. If that messes you up, just put numbers in that are to the left of 2. Now, obviously, the easiest one is to put 0 in. 2 times 0 is 0, so that means, and I put a little dot here, that means the origin is one of the, line, uh, one of the points that this ray goes through. And then you can just take a ruler, boop, draw the line. It's a ray. It will go as long as you're going to the left, as long as the numbers are getting less than 2, it's going to go down like that. Now, you also need to put in 2 here. Even though it says it's greater than 2, put in 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, so that's the order of pairs, 2, 0. Now, notice I have an open circle, though. That's because it does not include it. So I put an open circle there, and then I can look, and I see, well, my slope is 1, so I can go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and so on. Or, as you see here, what I did is I chose another point. I said 5, because 5 is greater than 2, and I went 5 minus 2 is 3, so I took the ordered pair 5, 3. So I went over 5, up 3, put a dot, drew a line, boom, done. Okay, on my second graph, now a little different here because I have a 0. Now, what do we mean by zero? That means that our range is zero whenever x is greater than or equal to three. So again, I start with three, three, zero, put a dot, and then you'll notice it just, it's going to be a line going to the right because it's all zeros for every number where x is greater than three. Now, for the y part, I again put in my three. Two times three is six, minus one is five. So I would have an ordered pair of 3, 5. Notice the open circle because it does not include it. And then again, you can go with your slope of 2, meaning go down 2 in the left one, down 2 in the left one, or I can just pick another point. You can pick anything. Okay, like let's say I want to pick, maybe I want to pick 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So I would go 0, 1 right there, put a point there draw the line. Now you're also going to need to find f of negative 3 on this first one. That just means I'm going to put negative 3 in. I can put negative 3 up here. I can put it into this one. Okay, or I can go find my graph. If I find my graph, I go negative 3 and I go down. Where's my oh, negative 3? down to negative 6. So this would be a negative 6. Or again, I could put negative 3 in here. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Sorry, I didn't write that down there. And then f of 3, now I could go over here, go over 3, and go up 1. So that would be 1. Or I put it up in here, make sure I'm in the right spot. 3 is greater than 2, so I put it in here. 3 minus 2 is 1, so I'd get 1 there. Now, g of 4 over on this one, again, I could go over 4, and I see it's a 0. Or I can go up here and say, okay, 4 is greater than or equal to 3, so it would be 0. So I'll get a 0 there. Now, for negative 2, I can either go up here and say, okay, negative 2 goes in there. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 minus 1, negative 5. 
or I go to my graph and go negative 2, and I go down, and I find it right here at negative 5. Alrighty, hope that helps. Talk to you later.